Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about gap training. So uh, what gap training is, it has to do with a lifestyle questionnaire. And that is, remember the other night you had a dinner that they, uh, they were all about, they didn't care anything about health, right? They didn't care, right? And then, but the whole dinner is kind of designed a little around health, isn't it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you may be on a dinner where they don't care anything about nutrition, they care about speed, right? That's really important to them. And so finding out what's important to them and how to speak to that is really, really important. Because if you're on a dinner and they love flavor and they don't give a rat's rear about health and nutrition, every time you bring up health and nutrition, all it shows them is shame. They don't feel good, right? They don't care about health, they just care about flavor. And they just check out, they don't care. And they actually kind of feel slightly insulted or slightly mm -hmm. shamed. Mm -hmm. And so what we wanna do is that when we're talking to the customer, we wanna find what's called the hot button. And that hot button is the thing that is important to them. What's important to them and how do we push on that button throughout the whole thing? And it's called hot button selling. And so uh, what I wanna show you is with the lifestyle questionnaire is how to get this. It's what I call, is what I termed gap selling. So here's what gap selling looks like. So there's three different types of things that people are interested in. We all know these. What are the three, the three threes? Um, well, nutrition, speed, um, cleanup, yeah. and flavor. Speed and flavor, right? Okay, so this, this is what the customer, like this is their hot button, this is, or this is they say to you, oh my gosh, this is what is so important to them, right? Mm -hmm. These three things right here. Mm -hmm. So, but then, here's the customer down here, right? And that's where they're all headed up, they really wanna, they really wanna get up to there and that's what they're doing, right? And this is their end goal, okay? So, what gap training is, what gap selling is, or hot button selling, is listening to them and saying wherever they are, and this is where they wanna be, like there's always something in the way that's called the gap, right? So let's say, let's do an extreme example. So let's talk about nutrition. So the customer goes, oh my gosh, I'm so nutritious. I eat organic, I have my own garden, I, I, I juice my food, oh, we're so into health. Oh, you are, that's really fantastic. And then my next question is gonna be, why are you so into health and how do you accomplish that? Oh, well, why we're so into health is that, you know, cancer runs in my family and I wanna make sure that I'm feeding my kids really good food. Oh my gosh, so you're, so what's important to you is really is, is the nutrition for your kid and for your health, right? Cancer, right? And so we know that that's really important to them. Great, how do you accomplish that? Oh, I do organic, blah, blah, blah. Great, okay, cool. So we know that that's what they're doing and they may be doing a lot of things right. Yes, I mean, if you're organic and clean, all that's pretty right, yes? Yeah. Yeah, right? But what we know is that during the dinner presentation, what would get in the way of them feeding their kids? We know that there's a, a gap here, a, a, a space that they're not aware of. What would be some of the challenges of getting kids to eat vegetables? It doesn't taste good. Doesn't taste good, right? What would be another example, another thing of that? What don't would be, like the colors. Don't like the colors, mm -hmm. right? Oh, colors are so stupid, right? Mm -hmm. I hate those colors, right? Uh, what also might be is, oh my gosh, we just got home from sports practice. It's six o'clock, I have allergies, and I'm freaking tired, and I don't wanna, right? Yeah. That would be it. That's part of that gap. When we talk about cancer, oh, we're trying to fight cancer with nutrition, and we're really into it. Well, where do we know in the dinner presentation that they're not fulfilling upon their nutrition when it comes to cancer. The pot test. Pot test would be one, exactly, right? We know that when we talk about what's coming out of the pan or how the pan's reacting with the food, that may, doesn't certainly, right? We don't make claims. No. That may have an impact on their nutrition. Yeah. And so we know that. What would be another way? The um, loss of nutrition. Yeah, the, the loss, loss of yeah, nutrition, exactly. absolutely, right? Yeah, like the, the, we're losing nutrition. Yeah. That is the gap. Yeah. This, so when we're selling or when we're, we're talking to them about their hot buttons, we're not, like when we're talking about nutrition, those areas in here, the time, the flavor, the color, the nutritional retention, that's what we're highlighting. Yeah. Clear? The five pillars of The five everything. pillars of flavor, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm, right, their food becoming acidic when it's yeah. in the pots, right? The metal yeah. reacting with the food. Yeah, it's right? cardboard tasting carrots. Exactly, right? So that is the gap that we're gonna fill, okay? Now let's move it over here to speed, okay? So let's talk about speed for a minute. I'm gonna block my kind of block my name. I'm gonna use a block label. I hope it shines up better in the group in the thing. Okay, so let's talk about speed. So why would somebody say speed's important to them? They work a lot. A lot of work. Really big, right? Yeah, big family, lots to feed, you know. Takes an hour and a half to cook for seven people. Mm -hmm. And what 
what's everybody, you guys have been cooking long enough, what's everybody's number one complaint about cooking? Uh, time, yeah. Time is time, always time. number one. Yeah. Even if nutrition is important to them, yeah. nine out of 10 dinners that I'm on, yeah. it's always coming back to this, mm -hmm. right? It's always coming back to this, right? Mm -hmm. And so they say, oh, I'm really fast. I have an Instapot, right? Yeah. We'll put that on also, there. Also, another thing could be um, that they can't stand for very long because they're older. Yeah, you could do that. We've got some, some yeah. issues with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how do they solve the speed thing? They may do the Instapot. They may do the crock pot. Mm -hmm. One pot meal. Yeah, mm -hmm. one pot meals. Um, you know, there's a lot of things they may start to do. Fast food, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? They right, because we're not talking about nutrition and flavor, right? Right. Yeah, we're talking, we're about, talking about get it in the get it yeah. in, get it done, Rub right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Might be, and it might be because of right. We're talking over here sports, times, uh, uh, frozen food, kids frozen games. Food. Microwaved frozen meals. Yeah, microwave would be another one. So with that, what we know is that speed's really important to them. But we know that usually, why is speed important to you? Well, I want to be, why is speed important to you with cooking for Drayson, quickly? Because we want to be able to cook it and then enjoy our time together and not have to be ah. sitting there, you know, constantly thinking about being in, in the kitchen. Yeah, and, right. And doing other things. So the next question I'm always, that I'm gonna ask somebody that says, oh yeah, because we get to spend our time together. Yeah. And I said, great, so when you're out of time, what is your default? What is your, what do you do instead? You go to, or what do you do? Um, what is our default yeah. if we don't have the time? Mm -hmm. um, I, I throw a couple eggs into a pan and that's and we eat that as mm -hmm. fast as we can. What do you think about with, for other with families? Some, with a smoothie. With a smoothie, right? Yeah, so you be a little ahead of the fast. game, right? Yeah. A lot um, of families other tell, family, oh, sorry. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwich. Um, most well. families, Caesar's what I pizza, hear, five fast seconds food. Away. Fast food. Yep. Yeah. That's what Hot most ready, families. Second you go in. Most families tell us that's what their default is. Yeah. I'm gonna go get pizza, I'm gonna yeah. go get fast food, I'm yeah. gonna go out to eat. Yeah. That is what is gonna be in there. So that's that gap in speed. Mm -hmm. And I'll usually start to ask them and say, well, if you did have more time, if it was able to cook faster, would, why would you wanna do that? Would you think you'd be healthier? Do you think it, do you mind that you're eating pizza and hamburger and fast food all the time with your kids? Oh yeah, we really, you know, we're really trying to do that. We're trying to watch our weight. You know, I'm over 25 now, so I'm starting to gain a little bit. So I know that's not good for us, but you know, what else are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. By the time we get home from sports practice, it's seven o'clock, mm -hmm. you know, it's 6.30 and we're hungry. I've had a long day. I don't want to cook. Mm -hmm. That's the gap, right? And how do we fill that gap with speed? Dave, what's the way we fill the gap with speed? Frozen to finish meal. Yeah, frozen to finish? Yes, I like that you, how you said that. Less. Yeah. Five ingredients. But how would we show it on the dinner? Um, by showing them, you know, uh, chicken breast on this side, vegetables on this side, you're eating in, you know, uh, if it's thawed, you're eating in 12 minutes. If it's yeah. frozen, really it's accentuating the semi vacuum seal and the uh, thermal core so that they I don't like have that. to spend time at the stove. They spend time with their family, so even though the food might take a yeah. little bit, you still enjoy time with your family and not have to worry about being there and monitoring and stirring, and all of a sudden everything's burnt. And you just I like that too. That's good. Yeah. Exactly. No pot watching. No pot watching yeah. and pot stirring. Yeah. yeah. The medium click low, right? Yeah. Dinner's a click away. Yeah. Right. And it's and still so, gonna be healthy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Talking about the frozen to finish. That's why when we're on the dinner, and every time we grab a piece of our cookware whether it's the one quart to the 11 inch to the electric skillet to the nine inch, mm -hmm. we're talking about different dishes you can do in there. That's the reason if you see me on the dinner when I talk about, yeah, so medium click low and it cuts your, the semi vacuum cuts your cooking time in half. You can throw a chicken breast in there, throw some seasonings, medium click low, you're eating in 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. Frozen, because you forgot to pull out of the freezer again, 17. Mm -hmm. And then I literally will walk to the kitchen, I'll grab the 11 inch large skillet and say, yeah, like in this, I had some friends come over the other day. Who's had friends come over unexpectedly, Me. right? I grab that, I grab this piece right here, I put three chicken thighs on one side, some cubed up sweet potatoes on the other, and some purple cauliflower on the other, that I didn't know what to do. All in one pan, medium click low, we were eating in 17 minutes. Mm -hmm. Would that help you with your time? Yeah, to help definitely. you feed your family healthy, more nutritious? Especially if they're coming from sports practice, right? They need all that good food. Mm -hmm. So when I'm doing the lifestyle questionnaire and I'm asking them and I'm having them paint me a picture about why is speed important to you, mm -hmm. it's so that I can use it later to make this relevant mm -hmm. for their life, mm -hmm. right? Oh, well we use an Instapot. Oh my gosh, you know what? That is a really popular thing, right? Because it's so much faster, right? Have you noticed that when you cook with the Instant Pot that your vegetables come out a little bit bland? Have, have you noticed that? Have we that, 
That, yeah, so that's why when you do the, when you say that, they go, oh my gosh, yes. Right, we're gonna talk about that tonight. Now, do you like bland food or do you like really flavorful food? Oh, we like really, oh cool, we got you tonight. Yeah. Okay, great. But I'm gonna bring it up, yes. Have you done the podcast on the inside? I did it last night. It's a metal, it's a slab bottom, 1810 metal pan. That's what we did last night, so yeah. So that's what I'm gonna be talking, oh, the crock pot. Well, what about those times when you don't pull the food out and you don't put the meat and the vegetables in the crock pot? What do you do? Well, in those cases, you know, a lot of times we just grab a hamburger. Oh yeah, right, that would be normal, right? What if you could take that exact same food, frozen, throw frozen, here's the electric skillet. You could take frozen chicken tenders, two bags of frozen vegetables, medium click low, you're eating in 20 minutes. You guys wanna do a pasta night? Frozen chicken tenders down, dry pasta shells, a jar of sauce and cheese, medium click low, you're eating in 30 minutes. And then I'll crown a broccoli and put that around the outside the last 10 minutes. And I've got my whole meal all in one pan. So every time we're grabbing a piece, we're describing a dish that they can do where they're just like, oh, that's so easy. I know, that's why I'm here. <laughs> so, right? So that's the gap right there for the customer is saying, man, speed's really important, but I don't know how to actually get there. I'm on my way. Oh, nutrition's really important, and I really think I'm doing a good job, but I'm gonna show you there's kind of a hole here when it comes to your nutrition, right? And, and you're fighting your cancer, and your flavor's getting the kids to eat. Now, the same is true with flavor. Now, flavor's a little, it's flavor is actually, it seems like it's tricky, but it's a simple shift, and I'll show you what this is. And I think I've showed all of you guys this, so for you at home on the video. So one of the things I will bring up at some point during the dinner, now this could be at the beginning of the dinner or in the middle or whenever I remember it, I try to bring it up early, is I'll say, did you guys know that your nutrition and your flavor go hand in hand? So if you destroy the nutrition during the cooking process, you also destroy the flavor. flavor. Very good, yeah, and so we're gonna talk about that tonight. So what that allows me to do is that every time I talk about nutrition, I can really easily reference it over to flavor, right? So when you peel your vegetables, you're throwing away all that nutrition. That also means you're throwing away the flavor. flavor. Very good, right? When I bring out the pot with the, the applesauce, right? And I say, okay, great. Now, which one tasted better? Well, this one, yeah, okay, great. Why, right, it did taste better. Now, was it better because of the apples or because of the way that the cookware was designed of how it cooks it. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, it's the cookware, yeah, absolutely, right? So when you're talking about your son, right, Drayson being 11, right, and you're talking about teaching him about what good nutrition is into his food, let me ask you, as he gets older, if he keeps eating food like this that's nutrient depleted and is really bland and covered with sugars and salts and butters, is that gonna develop him into a healthy, what, what healthy food is? Or would you rather be learning that this is what food actually is supposed to taste like? Mm -hmm. Right? Does that make sense? So, right? Because when we keep our nutrition, we keep our flavor. Mm -hmm. So we get both of them. This also works really well whenever I'm talking to families where the husband's like, I don't care anything about nutrition. I want flavor. And the wife's like, oh, I just try to get him to eat a vegetable every once in a while. Right? So I like to say, oh my gosh, perfect. We can help you with that because we're going to teach you not how to keep the nutrition and the flavor so they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. When they're eating the food, when they do the applesauce, mm -hmm. like when they do the mashed potatoes or they're mm -hmm. doing the lasagna, mm -hmm. and they're eating that, they're like, the husband's like, oh my gosh, this tastes amazing. I know, right? Mm -hmm. That is why, right? With Salad Master, you can get the nutrition that you're wanting your husband to eat, and sir, you get to get the flavor that you're, de wanting, you're demanding that is in your food, right? You get to have both with Salad Master. So not only are you gonna feel better, not only are you gonna look better, but your flavors are gonna be there and you're gonna feed your body the nutrition that it needs to fight some of those diseases that you circled here on the Lifestyle Questionnaire. Right, it's all together. So what we're doing is we're listening for this gap, right? We're listening for this gap right here, right? And mostly where this is gonna come in is this will come in with the uh, applesauce with the applesauce, when we do the applesauce, that's where we're gonna show that. It's also gonna come in whenever they eat the dinner. Mm -hmm. And then it's also gonna come in when? Cake. Uh, or salad. No. no. Um, pot test? Yeah, there you go. Oh, got it, yeah, of course, okay. Right, so yeah. when they do the pot test, you say, sir, I'm asking. do you think that's making your food taste better or worse? Yeah. That's disgusting, right? Yeah. So you're the breakfast guy, right, in the house there, Dave? You're the breakfast guy, right? So when you make your eggs, what do you think's going into your eggs? Eggs. 
a little bit of this, a little bit of this, lot. real high-end cookware you bought, right? It's all nice and black on the inside, right? Right. Do you want that flavor in your eggs? No. No, right? That's why people who get salad mat, that's why so many families get salad master. Mm -hmm. Because of, and I list three things. This is why so many people get salad master, because it makes their food taste better, mm -hmm. it makes their food more nutritious, mm -hmm. and it's so fast to cook on. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Perfect, great. That's the gap training. Okay, this is what we're looking for when we're talking about the lifestyle questionnaire. Mm -hmm. Now, let me give you the second part to this. Now, this is where it takes a little bit of training and a little bit of art, okay, to learn how to do this. Now, what's easy to do is that when we're going over the lifestyle questionnaire and they say, oh, flavor's important to me, and you're like, oh my God, well, you know, I'm gonna show you during the applesauce test and when we eat, oh, I just, not the time, okay? There's something called a dramatic pause, letting something sink into a customer's mind. So how we do that is when we're going over this, when you're asking people, so why is nutrition important to you? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Zach, why is nutrition important to you? And how do you try to accomplish it? Gotta stay healthy, keep oh, cancer yeah. away. You gotta gotta eat stay healthy. veggies and eat good stuff. Great, so do you hear how that was a short answer? I'm gonna make him talk to me about that. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I do is don't let your customers give you one word answers. Mm -hmm. Make them paint you a picture so that you understand what's, so, is it, so cancer, why is cancer important to you, Zach? Oh, because I've already beat it once, so I want to go round two. Oh my, you beat can oh my gosh, good job, man, man. And you know what, cancer, like, we know that the, the main contributor of cancer, right, is what goes into our body. So, yeah. oh my gosh, that is, man, I got you on your commitment on that, great. So how do you accomplish that? Eat more veggies, eat like uh, white meat, chicken, more than the beef, more than the steaks. Yep. Try and just keep on the stuff that's more good and nutrition benefit than that. Cook more at home. Cook more at home. Do you do, do, you do organics? No. You don't do any game? Okay, great. Yeah, I know because sometimes I just got that. Okay, great. So you're eating more at home. You're trying to, now how do you cook your vegetables mostly? Oh. Do you guys, that's that's do you a wife question. That's a wife question. <laughs> so do you guys hear how I'm, I'm, I'm asking him questions, I'm engaging, I'm eager to listen, I'm not eager to respond, right? This is not the time, this is where God gave you two ears and one mouth. <laughs> this is the time you are not talking. You're asking questions and questions and questions, and you're getting down to where you're like, okay, so I got cancer, I've got that, you're, that your wife does a lot of the cooking, I got that you're trying to eat cleaner. So when I go to the dinner, I'm going to bring up about the 93% nutrition, mm -hmm. right? I'm going to talk about, I'm going to talk about the pot test, right? And we're going to bring that up right there, right? And so, uh, oh, and you're really busy. That was number one on yours. I'm going to talk about the frozen to finish meals, right? So what this is, is that when you're asking questions and you can make notes on this too, if that helps you, if you're visual, I've done it before mm -hmm. where they'll be talking and I'll have it there and I'll make little notes off to the side for them and stuff. And I hand it back to them, but then you do it. But by finding out what is important to them and then listening for it and not being eager to talk about it right then, mm -hmm. right? It takes a little bit of practice and training to listen for it and then bring it up later and remember to do it. Okay. Mm -hmm. It took me about a year. Okay, just to let you guys know. Some people are way faster at it and smarter than that. I'm not the smartest guy in the room, so I've just been doing this for 10 years. <laughs> like, right? So, but that is the, uh, so after 10 years, you kind of figure some things out, right? So, uh, but that is what, that is the most important thing when it comes to your lifestyle questionnaire. When your daily meal planning, what are the three most important items to you? And what is your biggest challenge to eating healthy? Time, kids, carbs, sugar, stuff like that, right? Here's a little fun one. What if they say the biggest challenge to eating healthy is uh, carbohydrates or sugar, right? But they love them? They love them, okay. right? Okay. So that's when we get to bring in little conversations like when we're doing the cake, yeah. adding the fiber, keeping yeah. the oils and fats out, yeah. adding that fiber nutrition to help regulate their blood sugar, right? Yeah. So it's not spiking and crashing, right? Yeah. The fiber nutritionist dense meal, right? Yeah. Hey, see how we're eating all this fiber first, yeah. right? That's gonna fill us up, it's gonna make us feel good, yeah. it's gonna help calm our blood sugar down, and then when you eat that cake, it's not gonna be so crazy, yes. right? So, helpful? Yeah, Right. Excellent. Gap training. Listening when they're going over these things, listening for where the holes are that we're gonna help them. So whether they eat McDonald's or whether they're a vegan with no legumes, right? Wherever they are, we're gonna help them get one step closer and we're just listening for it and then we bring it up during the presentation. Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. yeah. Yep, great. Perfect.